Hi everyone, Diggy here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the vending machine for iced dessert blind box by Toy City. I've been interested in these funny little vending machine guys ever since I saw the first assortment, but I was never quite able to get any, and then I saw that they have an iced dessert one. Hello, I love collecting dessert toys, and as a dessert collector, I knew I had to get some at some point, but I was actually surprised by this because it was a thrown gift from my friend Sprinkle. Thanks, Sprinkle. Without further ado, let's get started. Can you dig it? The front of the box features the vending machine for ice dessert logo, along with one of the cute options. You can already see the, the little melty ice cream and the peach flavors. The playful designs that these have are really, really fun. I love the little Pac-Man eyes. I love their teeth. And I love how every flavor has something unique to it. And of course, it is an ice dessert, so it needs to be properly kept cool in this really nice mountain range filled with snow. And right below is the ice cream and copyright information along with some of the logos in the top left. And something really neat about the box is that, as usual with these sort of designer toys, they have some sort of glossy finish or texturing around to make it look really cool. This one has gloss all over the text and the ice cream on the front. Very shiny, very cool. On the side of the box, you'll see all of the different designs. There's nine in total, plus a secret. There's a matcha daifuku, milk ice of red bean, mango main main ice, ice cream float coffee, bubble tea, an ice cream croissant, frozen mangosteen, blueberry popsicle, and the secret one has some sort of shave ice looking motif, or at least some kind of ice grinder. Not really quite sure, but I guess we'll find out if we get the secret. Whoa, wouldn't that be wild? You may also notice there's a protrusion on the right. It's kind of a bit of an elf in the room. That actually pops up to reveal a mountain. Check this out. Ta-da! It's a flip-top pop-up mountain equipped with an ice cream cone and some delicious whipped cream dripping down with some sprinkles too. Now that's a mountain I can climb. On the other side of the box has all of the usual copyright information and the barcode and the QR code and a lot of cute little snowflakes and some ice. And of course, the sticker of authenticity, so you know that it's a real product. You can see it's got the hollow foil, you know, wheel it back and forth. It's shiny, it's shimmery, that's how you know it's legit. And if you couldn't understand what it said on the side, no worries, the back's got you covered. You can see it's got the brand, the item name, the number, all the materials, production, everything you could possibly need, including soft maintenance through a cleaning cloth. Actual product may differ slightly from the photos, and please refer to the tradition shown. It contains a random or hidden figure of vending machine for ice dessert in the box. All rights reserved. And as usual with these sort of blind boxes, it contains small parts. So probably you don't want to give a relatively expensive collector figure to a small child. Especially one of these guys. They look absolutely delectable. Please don't need it. Here's the bottom of the box with the recycling information and not much else. And the top of the box has a separate vending machine for ice dessert logo with a wobbly ice cube and snowflakes, along with a pull tab that we'll be using to open the box. And this logo, just like the other one, is also glossy and very fancy. It's a little hard to get it to come across, but you'll have to take my word for it. Okay, we better open this guy before he melts. We want to make sure it stays chilled after all. Ooh, but I'm distracted by the gloss again. Let's see what machine we get. Check it out. Solid rip, just about. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Another thing about these is that sometimes they, or most of the time, they have a card inside that spoils what it is, so I'll do my best not to look at it first. Ooh. Look at this pretty, this is like a copper rose gold Toy City bag. These are always really cool too. All right, there's a card inside that box. We're gonna push that to the side and look at it later because we're going to have the grand reveal of which vending machine dessert we get. Oh yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna be happy with any of them, but I'm really interested in that secret one. What if we get the secret? Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, we've got ourselves a little topper with a straw. Could this be the boba one? What is this one? It's the snow top coffee! Oh, that's so cute! Oh my gosh, this feels really incredible in person. Okay, hold on a second. This There's a lot to take in here. Look at this little fella. So, first of all, comes with little equipment. So let's put them down for a second. That's very high quality. <laughs> Let me open this up real quick. 
Okay, so this guy requires a tiny bit of assembly. We take this dome piece, we put it on top. This is to replicate the sort of uh, top of your drink. And then we take the straw piece and place it through, and then we give it a little wiggle. That's the wrong side. We place it through, <laughs> kind of, it just looks like a crayon. You give it a little wiggle. Ugh. I think we got it. Okay, nice wedge. Oh, I felt that one go in. Okay, cool, perfect. There he is, beautiful. Let's take a closer look. Here's a little ice cream float coffee in all of his glory. And this has a really nice texture and coloring to it. You can see the, the text that says Snow Top Coffee is already being covered by the drizzle from above. You have the dome and the straw as I just put on, but the ice cream itself has that really nice fading on it. It's so, so realistic looking. Very nice, very cool. Um, Of course, as you saw earlier, there's different eyes for these guys. So the ice cream one at the front had Pac-Man. This one is more of like a waffle texture. And they all have their iconic funny little teeth. And something that you may notice also is that uh, they have so many little things inside. So this one has some chocolate, some pearls, some little ice flakes. And of course, the best part, you can shake them. Which motion wise is hard to portray on camera. So I can just tilt it a little bit and you can see <laughs> Look at it go. Let me try not to drop the cap too. So each one also has its own unique fillings and it's, it's really, really fun. That's why I've always wanted these guys. They're so nice. You can see that the outside fading is really good too. So you kind of start up here with uh, like a regular chocolate and that goes into a bit of a mocha. And then there's a lot of snow top dollops around the sides too. And you can see he's got his little feet right there. So cute with the Toy City logo. I see the cat fell off. Let's not have that fall off. It's, it's a little bit like loosely attached. There's like a, a suggestion of having it on. It doesn't snap in. But I guess you can see how the, the drippy, drippy goodness looks from above. Very glossy. I guess I should have showed that first. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, there's also the, of course, the vending machine dispensing part where you will get one of these lovely treats inside. And then there's a logo right here for the coffee which is also different on the other ones too. And now we go to the side. You can see, ooh, hello tail. <laughs> These are little dinosaurs, by the way. Surprise, peekaboo, <laughs> in case you couldn't tell by the feet and the teeth. That's the other thing that makes these so cool. Not only these vending machines, not only they dessert themed, but they're little dino buddies. Look at them, you can just go stomping all over the place. <laughs> I love this so much. It's got this. Very, very, very tiny little claws there, which are painted green and just like the toes are. And that is the same on the other side. And the fading continues along with the dollops. And then we end up at the back, which I haven't seen the backs of these before. So I didn't realize there was more details, but apparently they have some of the snowflakes too, along with even bigger ooey gooey dollops dripping down. And the tail itself is also kind of a bit cookies and cream. And then the back of the feet. So just uh, all in all, a really, really adorable little fella. And I, I'm going to get more of these, but we're not done yet. We got to get the card. Shaky, shaky. Ooh, silica gel. So here is the card from the back. This is it, you can see that it straight up tells you what you get. Even if you don't look at the side that has the image on it, it says ice cream float coffee, which is the technical name for this little guy even though he is the snow top coffee and it has the same pattern as on the box along with the logos and a little qr code i think that's for a collection i don't remember what it was it was, it was on some other one but then you flip this around and you'll see surprise ta-da oh my gosh it's the one we got so if you ever get any sort of fancy blind boxes like this Try not to look at the card first or else you'll be spoiled unless that's what you're cool with because then you can just trade it with someone else who may conveniently have a vending machine for ice dessert nearby if that's even a possibility in life. But you can see there's a, the big render right here, the logo, all of the icy goodness, the sprinkles and everything. Very cute, very nice. I will add this to my collector card collection of desserty dreams. Uh, is, I guess that's the official name now. Cool. And that was a look at the vending machine for ice dessert blind box by Toy City. 
And these little guys definitely do not disappoint in the slightest. I was already on board with the original designs, but then they went and did this dessert series, and I don't know if I can resist grabbing any more. <laughs> Super nice, incredibly highly detailed, and I just am a sucker for these cute designs. Not just because they're dessert themed, but all in all, just so much fun, so creative, and I'm really happy to have one of these in my collection. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.